Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from me. I have never done um, a planner setup video before, but I really wanted to go through this year for 2022 and show you guys my planner. I, like I said, I've never done this before, but my planner has always been set up or the past two years that I've had or is still clouds. It has been set up by Andrea, thankfully. She always does a really fantastic job and I've never been like, I just never felt like I had the eye for it, like the eye for decorating. And by no means am I saying I have the eye for decorating because you'll see the way I decorated it this year. But I did set up my own planner this year and I'm a little bit proud of it. I think I did a really nice job. It's very simple. I have ideas for like future adjustments, which I will explain. But yeah, I just completely finished setting up my 2022 Aura Style Cloud. I think I'm going to end up splitting the year into two clouds, just like with I, what I did with 2021 because it just got so thick and it, 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 I'm scared the pages are going to rip. So this is going to be probably for the first half of the year. This is the like beautiful like navy blue sapphire with silver hardware. This cloud is so nice, like it's so pretty. It feels very like sophisticated, I really like it. Um, and I do think I already have my second half of the year down here. It's just gonna be the black with the like gold hardware. I'm not sure if I'm gonna set that one up, but I kind of want to, because I didn't set up the first half of 2021, but like now I want to, you know what I mean? Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, it's very, very simple. And it is using all stuff that I have already had. Um, but I do, I have seen other shops that have come out with stuff that I think would be really pretty to work with as well. So anyway, so here's the inside. I think I did a pretty decent job, right? Like not too terrible. Um, it's still like very fresh clouds. So it's still kind of everything just kind of closes. It doesn't hold itself shut yet. But let me go through everything with you guys. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna start with like the pockets and everything. I don't know necessarily, like I think I'm done. If I were to add anything else, I'll explain. So this is set up a little bit differently than the pockets for um, the cloud that I used last year. This is how Andrea set it up for me, which like, isn't this so pretty? So you can see that the little um, like card slots up here, there's no scallop edging like there is here. And there's some two little things down here. I think that's like everything that's different. There's still two more pockets though, but everything's kind of, um, placed a little bit differently. So I, I don't know. I feel like I did an okay job again with things that I had. So, um, starting right here, this actually is just a piece of acetate that I cut in half. That is, everything's in like different foils. I just realized too. That's in gold foil that says you are perfect perfection. I miss Viv. So Viv loves to plan. She hasn't made videos. I feel like in such a long time, but the last time I saw her, um, she gave all her friends little goodie bags and this um, acetate was in there and I've always wanted to use it for something But I wasn't like quite sure what yet So I did just cut it in half and put it in here because I still wanted the other half just to, like have um, And I just think it's so cute And I also didn't realize that I have two things that say you are perfection in here But like we need a little motivation every once in a while, right? So I think this looks really nice if I were to add anything it would potentially just be a piece of like um, cardstock behind here with maybe like a light print so that way this could kind of stand out a little bit more although I do feel like the gold against the navy does stand out quite a bit up here we have a journaling card that I trimmed so this was from the honeybee shop yes the honeybee shop this was I think this is from the same collection but it was a honeybee shop babe box I used to be subscribed it was the um like a Disney themed one and I cut the top off just so it like fit perfectly like this and you could see all the like Disney elements it is in hollow and I think it looks really pretty right there I actually really enjoy it this is another little clip here from the Honey Bee shop I think I might get one more clip to put here and maybe or maybe one more and put this one up here it's just a really cute little clear bow with like hollow sparkly hollow stars on it I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see those but I thought that that looked really nice. I'm sorry I'm taking like everything out to show you. But like, I don't know. I've never done one of these before. I'm not sure exactly how to go about doing that. Okay. Anyway, then down here I have a small little business card sized journaling card, I suppose. From Lil Miss Allie Prince, who is one of my favorite people in the entire planet. And I love her Etsy shop. This is actually where a lot of my stuff is from. This was just gifted in an order. It says, you are perfection. And I had it originally like a card in here. 
but then I wanted to put this in so I, I have it sideways you can still read it I still think it looks really nice and then right here I have these sticky notes from SPC these are the gray with the sparkly hollow um, park hopper pattern these are still available in shop there's actually three other colorways as well but I felt like the gray really matched well with this scheme like I didn't want to bring in the blue or the orange or the pink I felt like the gray really kind of flowed and then the last thing I have here also from the honeybee shop so I have a ton of die cuts because I was subscribed for many many months and I want to use them and I'll explain how I want to use those in the future but I just wanted to use one right here and I was obsessed. This is, I think this is from the same box. This is from like the Disney sidekicks. This is supposed to be Thumper and I was obsessed with her. Like she is so cute. So I definitely wanted to like have her in here somewhere. So I just kind of placed the little die cut right there. I think she's super cute and that is my kind of side area. And then to the actual, I guess, like planner contents. Um, this is what the back looks like. I don't have anything in here because... I don't know, I just don't think I need really anything in here. I don't have a pen in here at all times or anything like that. But that's just going to stay empty for a second. I thought that was open. Okay. So these first two things are from Lil Miss Alley Prince. This one she gifted to me and I've been, again, wanting to use it for so long. She made me this acetate with my family's names on it. My daughter's names are Reagan and Avery. Of course, my name is Kirsten. My husband's name is Brian. And I really wanted to use this somehow. And I just feel like this is perfect since this is just right in front and this theme there's really no theme to this planner I just kind of wanted it to be me so I put that here it has a nice little grayed out heart and then in the back I have a vellum this is from her shop it's a Tom Haverford court quote excuse me which is from Parks and Rec and this quote always makes me laugh because like it's just so funny if you understand the context so it says sometimes you have to work a little so you can ball a lot and I just think that's funny because that's Tom Haverford. So I have that there. Those are the two kind of little like pieces I have here. I'm trying to decide. I don't think I'm going to. I was like, maybe I should put a piece of cardstock here that would go here and they would all kind of correlate. But um, I think I am just going to leave it like this and leave the 2022. I even just thought about putting like die cuts on here, but I think it's nice the way it is. So then these are the 2022 Aura Style inserts. These are what I'm going to be using. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these like front pages. I might keep them in just because, like I said, I am splitting my year in half. So, like, it's not going to be a bother to have them in. It's not going to make the planner any thicker because it doesn't really matter. Um, but I don't think I'm really going to do much with this. Ah, uh, maybe I could do birthdays here. But, again, I feel like I might just also leave this one, like, maybe blank for now. Or do something, like, at the end of the month, I write in, like, something that happened that was important. Or, I don't know, something like that. Or maybe I'll just take them out. So there's two pages of that. And then you have a, you already have what it takes kind of dashboard-esque situation here. And then I did put in, I ha only have six right now. I need to get more of the Oristel side um, tab dashboards. She does have top tabs, but I just really prefer side tabs. I almost went no tab with this planner, but I felt like I just, I personally need them because I, I can't function otherwise. I, I don't like to skip through things. Um, so I did that. I also used the gold labels from Oristel. I didn't use any of these. She has, um, like these, the tab stickers that you could put on and then put these on top. But I just wanted to just use the plain gold. I felt like it looked kind of classic on the clear. I'm saving these obviously for the other half of the year. Um, so we have January. So it is a blank dashboard and I do have a blank page back here. So that's where I think the Honey Bee Sticker Shop die cuts, as well as SPC, has some incredible sticker packs. I think would work really well. So I'm trying to decide. So with my last year's planner, I just kind of like slapped whatever stickers I liked on. I'm trying to decide if I want to like make it a cohesive theme per like month. Like do all SPC Cheers sticker packs since it's like the new year. Um do that or I'm not quite sure yet but I have this blank page back here which is fine I could totally decorate this that would be fine but I also from the babe shop have a ton this is only a couple of the papers from the babe box like I said so I'm trying to decide if maybe I need to purchase a hole puncher if I cut some of these down to size I feel like I just I want to do like a home mermaid theme. I feel like next year would be so nice. Get like a pastel cloud, but um, cut some of those down to size. I'm just gonna leave that there. 
and put that behind here and decorate that. That's kind of an option I'm thinking of right now. I'm not really sure. I don't want to go through and decorate the whole year right away because like, what if new sticker packs come out? What if I see new papers I want to use? You know what I mean? But that's kind of how it's set up for right now. I might start with January and if I don't like the whole piece of paper back here decorated, I'll just move on. So here are the monthlies. Um, if I do decide to do a piece of cardstock, I think I will get rid of... Well, I can't, I guess, get rid of that. Um... I guess I'll just leave the monthlies in and maybe just tape them shut because I'm not using these monthlies this year. I have a print pression V6 that I'm currently using. It is set up so poorly right now, but I'm using it for personal things and it has been actually very helpful so far. I have the goal. I think they're called like Kane's favorite inserts right now, um, but those are amazing. But anyway, so I'm not using my monthly and then this first week I'm actually not using either because this week is in my 2021 planner so that'll be in there so the first plan with me you'll see with this week or with this planner will be the january 3rd through 9th um these are the aura style inserts like i said i love that they're different i love the dots to kind of help you with header placement um versus last year where there were like headers up top that you kind of followed as you went down so um that's just january and then again you know here's february and it's the same situation and you know so on and so forth i'll just flip to april so i that's what i'm thinking doing like a piece of cardstock decorating it heavily um yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so we shall see i need to get a whole punch like i said and make sure i have everything set up to go but this is my 2022 planner setup uh let me know what you think i feel like i did an okay job for my first official time setting it up myself I did, again, only use things that I had already had. I didn't go out and purchase anything. Although I do think for 2023, that makes me feel so awkward. Um, I might start prepping for that. Well, maybe not if I'm going to use the mermaid theme. We shall see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.